Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna do a cute little fall craft tonight. Something I just kind of whipped up today. I didn't, I didn't actually make it, but I'm gonna make it now. So it's all up in my head. I'm gonna try to get it down here. <laughs> um, so say hey once you hop on if you're watching the replay. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this craft. I uh, hope you give it a try. Um, so we're gonna get started in just a second. There's some people hopping on. Hey, Lenora, how are you? Hey, Mary, all my friends. I look forward to Mondays, even though I just saw some of you yesterday, but um, I look forward to Monday and Thursday night so I can craft, because I work hard during the week and I, don't, I really don't craft a lot unless it's with you. Uh, sometimes I do, but sometimes I, most of the time I don't. Hey, Janice. Hey, is it GK? Hey. Hey, Bonnie. Okay, so I'm just opening up this little box. Um, this little box is from the Dollar Tree and I just tore the label. Hey, Ann, hey, Kaylee, hey, Lindy, Lindy's on. I hope y'all caught Lindy and I yesterday and got all the laughs um, that we had. Uh, <laughs> and we continued to laugh after the live, so it was so funny. Um, Yes, yesterday was a lot of fun, and we're definitely going to have to do it again. Yes, we were, <laughs> we had a blast. Um, her husband and her son probably think I'm nuts, <laughs> but it's all right. Okay. Yay, yes, I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. Hey, Martha, I love Mondays, too, because I get to craft with all of you and my friends, and hopefully get your week on a better track. If Monday was bad, hey Pam, hey Jane. I think I already said hey to Jane. <laughs> hey Trish. Okay, so this is, and I'm gonna give you some options, guys. That's When I come on and do lives and I do stuff with the Dollar Tree stuff or whatever, I always try to give you another option of something else you could use if you can't find that in your Dollar Tree or your Walmart or wherever. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do tonight with this craft. Um, this is a little, I tore the label in the process, but it's a little clear box from uh, Dollar Tree and it's like a little organizer is what it's called. I tore it off on accident, but it's from Dollar Tree and it's a little clear box and the lid comes off. So it says, I hope it does because I planned on the lid. Yeah, it comes off. Okay. So the little lid comes off. You may have seen these, um, in the Dollar Tree. Okay. But if you don't if you can't find these boxes, okay? Another option, I mean, it's a little more costly option, but you can use these, okay? This is from Hobby Lobby, and I know you've probably seen them. They're the glass blocks. They do put their glass on sale like every other week or something like that, um, and they are $9.99, and this is the smaller one, I think, maybe. There's a bigger one, I believe, I think. And it already has a hole in it for your lights or whatever. I know if y'all have crafted for any length of time, you've seen people do things with these boxes. So, um, but I'm gonna use this little clear box from the Dollar Tree, or you might can find something similar to this somewhere else, like Dollar General or anywhere like that. But um, you can also use this as another option, okay? So, um, so I decided, you know, people put lights in them and they wrap them up like presents and all that stuff. Well, we're going to turn this into a scarecrow. Um, yes, it's going to be a scarecrow when we get done. And it's all reflecting my ring light. You'll see the ring light. Da -da -da -da. I'm trying to get it in the center. Boop, there it is. Hey, Linda. Hey, Carol. Okay, so let's see. So, like I said, I am shooting from the hip because I've not done this before, but we're going to do it together and see if we can make it work. Hey, Lori. Hey, Susan. Did you get to taste Mr. Taker? I, Lorraine, I got some of the dip, and the dip was fantastic. My husband was in there munching on it earlier, and uh, I was like, that's, that's that dip. <laughs> hey, Judy. Hey, Julie. Okay, so like I said, this comes off, and we are going to put stuff in it, okay? Um, but we're going to fix the outside, all that stuff, to make it look like a... Um, uh, Scarecrow. How is Suki? I haven't heard today. I think she's doing better, but she still has a long way to go. Um, but I think she's doing a lot better. Okay, so I just see. Okay, so now two options. Raffia, this hot mess of stuff, or if you happen to pick up 
one of these luau skirts. I only got one. <clears throat> And um, that's great for fall. That's why I picked it up because you can get a lot of fall stuff out of this, the natural color, or you can use raffia, whatever you have. Um, I wanted to do, I like to give you options of other stuff you can use instead of just what I use. Did two keychains with bells. Oh, how cute. I hope you posted them in the group. Okay, and y'all, I posted in the group, I posted the templates from Lindy, the ghost and the candy corn there's the candy corn that we made yesterday y'all wanted the templates so uh i posted them in the in the uh group and then they're in lindy's group too my group is uh the turquoise valentine's crafters reveal so if you want to go join that you can um it doesn't it's free of charge so and then lindy's is tater buggins sweet tater bugs and she has it in her group too so um so we have the um the candy corn and the ghost so you can make your own. My ghost is at Lindy's. I left it at her house so she could have the pair together. So I took my candy corn back with me. Um, the clear case is from Dollar Tree. But like I said, if you can't find this, then you can always use these glass blocks from Hobby Lobby. They're $9.99, but they'll put them on sale, the glass stuff, every other week or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna use this for my inside. Because I want him to have a straw face. But, um, like I said, I've not done this previously. So, it's just kind of something I have up here. And I'm going to get down here, hopefully. Um, I've seen several of them like this on Pinterest. But, I'm just trying to do it using some, um, you know, Dollar Tree stuff. And, the, I've had these little boxes for a little while. And, I knew that I could do something with them. So, this luau skirt, of course, you know, it's like this. And we are going to chop some of it off and put on the inside of our scarecrow. So look how much stuff you would get for fall, but just one of these little skirts. So when they come out, I always try to grab some, but I only got one this year. Okay, so I'm going to just come up here. I don't know the best way to go about it, but I'm going to go up here and just cut some of this off of my of the little rope. It's on like a little jute rope, and I'm just cutting some of it off. And get that mess out of the way for it gives me uh, anxiety. <laughs> yeah, Lindy has the ghost. Uh, I left the ghost couple together, so she has the ghost at her house. So anyway, I'll get to go visit him. So I'm just going to, I don't know, let's cut this in half. Because I want to, um, I'm just going to kind of mess it all up. Now, the option with this. And I got to show y'all a cool trick that I learned today because I've seen it before, like on TikTok and stuff. And I was like, does that really work? It really works. I got to show y'all. Okay. So the other option is to have lights in it. Okay. You don't have to have lights in it, but just because we're going to put these lights in it. Dollar Tree does carry these, especially at Christmas time, fall time. They'll have these little strands of these fairy lights. I don't think this one came from Dollar Tree. I just had it in my stash. So I got to show y'all a trick that I learned though. Um, so I'm just going to kind of put this in here. They're on like a, they're little bitty. And let me turn it on so you can see. And this one does all kinds of little tricks and it's got on the front here what it does. But you can get them. I've gotten them at Tuesday mornings before. Uh, okay, slow fade. All right, maybe that's it. It's got like all these different settings. But the ones at the Dollar Tree just have one setting. So, um... Y'all had fun watching yesterday. It was long, and Lindy and I were like, oh my gosh, we were on for two hours and 20 minutes. What in the world? So I'm just kind of un... I don't even know. I, think I done made a mess, but I'm just going to kind of arrange them around in here and put my... Let's put the raffia on top, the hula skirt on top so my wires don't show, and I'm going to try to get all this up in here. You got your ho-ho and your scissors today. Yay! Well, I'm going to be uh, releasing some more stuff at the end of the week. I did uh, the virtual training on my new laser today, which is very similar to my other laser, so it wasn't so bad. Um, <clears throat> friends here wanted me to send you some way too much raffia. Oh, my goodness. Like a whole big wad of raffia so y'all can give me anxiety. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to see if this little wire... 
I can stick it out the side maybe because it's real thin. It's very, very thin little fairy light wires. So I'm just kind of putting that wire over and I'm gonna see if I can get the lid on without the light bending, you know, the lights. It's so thin, I think it'll work, but we're gonna see. But these glass blocks from Hobby Lobby, if you use this, it already has a hole in it just for that purpose. Um, back in the day before they started making those glass blocks, um, I'm gonna tear that off. They, people had to drill the holes themselves and now they started making them with the holes. But this one, it, the, the lid went on fine and cause it's just thin wire, so it went on fine. So there's our lights. And so this is the front and I may have to play with it some more cause you can't really see, see the lights. You could have watched us two more hours. We probably could have went on some more, um, but I didn't want to drive through Memphis at night. So I needed to go and get, gather my stuff and leave because, you know, it's not necessarily so safe, but I wanted to get home before dark because I have to drive through Memphis. All right, so I'm gonna try to make me some light and raffia soup here. And so I can get my lights where you can see them a little bit through the front because it was covering it up. My nails look cute with my shirt. I know, and I, they're grown out so much and I'm gonna soak those bad boys off tomorrow, I think, because they're, they're driving me crazy because I need to get them filled in and um, I just, I don't know. I, when I work and do stuff with the laser, it, it, it's hard to grasp stuff and all that and and then I had to file them down. They just, they worry me. <laughs> so, okay. So anyway, all right, so there's my lights. I got my lights where you can see them in the front. And look how they flicker on the screen. That's so weird how they do that, but they're not really flickering. It just looks that way because of the camera. You got your ho-ho today. Hey, Becky. Nancy, it was so fun yesterday, it was. Okay, so let me show you my trick that I learned, okay? So I'm out here digging through my little lights and stuff, and I had some blue ones. And I took the batteries out of the blue one and put in here. I just changed the mode or something. Oh no, it's because of my stuff. So I didn't have three batteries, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all if this really works. So I didn't have three batteries and I thought, well, I saw that, that trick on TikTok or somewhere before where you could take aluminum foil and fill up this last side, okay? It really works. I was shocked. So I put some foil in here just as long as it's touching both of the little spring and the little contact in there. And it works, y'all, it really works. So if you only have one battery or one less battery than you're supposed to have, it works. Proof right there, y'all, you're seeing it for yourself because I, I was shocked, but you gotta keep your stuff touching. Hold on, let me get it fixed. All right, there we go. Now we gotta get it back on. This one has all these settings and, okay. Come on. Sorry guys, my little foil keeps moving. <clears throat> there we go. So see, it works. That is like awesome. So there's aluminum foil, it's supposed to be three batteries. So it's two batteries and aluminum foil. That is like coolest thing ever. All right, so it works. Took 15 minutes to find me. Oh, okay. Well, you hadn't missed a lot. You hadn't missed a lot. We just put lights and raffia in our little, our little box, or you could use this, okay? So now I'm going to take this, and we got to turn it into a scarecrow. Now, this box on its own, it kind of sits at an angle, which is good. Um, so I'm going to use this as the front, and we're going to make him a hat, and we've got to dress him up and make him cute. Yes, I'm always one battery short. I just didn't want to run in the house and get a second battery. So I said, let me see if this trick works. It does. <laughs> I was amazed. I was like, oh, it worked. Okay, so I'm going to turn him face down. And I've got, uh, let me see where my light is coming out. Okay, so I've got this. This used to be a runner, a burlap runner. You can use any fabric you want. You can use uh, a piece of burlap or whatever. I didn't measure. I just grabbed it out of my stash and said, oh, this is gonna make a perfect hat. So I'm just gonna lay it down. But I wanna, I want him to have a brim to his hat. So I am going to, I'm gonna fold it over for his brim, okay? And then I'm gonna lay it down like that because I gotta get it on his head. And I'm gonna lay it down, just not too far down on the block, but just enough to where I can attach it. 
I've got felt and stuff everywhere. The plastic box came from Dollar Tree. Um, but if you can't find them at your Dollar Tree, you can always use the glass block, okay? All right, so I'm going to try to get... I'm just scooting my box down to where I don't want it to cover up the entire front. Okay, and I'm going to move it. And I'll end up cutting some of this burlap off. But it just happened to be the great a great size. Yes. Now, I don't know how safe it is with aluminum foil, but I see it everywhere, and I was like, I'm going to try it. So I'm just going to put me a dot of hot glue on the back. Now, if you use the glass block, I don't know how well the, the glue will stick to that, so you may end up having to just do it really tight and tie it around it or something like that, attach it in the back. But it's, and we'll see how well it's going to adhere. It's, it's adhering to this plastic. So then I'm just going to come over and make the back part of his hat. <clears throat> Try to fix this. Hey, Sharon. Okay. So I thought I'd pass that little cool tip on to y'all because I was just amazed. <laughs> and it works. I don't know if it works on everything, but um, thank you, Mandy, for sprinkling. Okay. So I just got it to where I can fold it over, make it all pretty in the back, and I'm going to glue that down. This is going to be semi-easy. My glue gun is acting strange again. And now this burlap is going to make me sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> Every time, y'all, this burlap makes me see. Hey, Sylvia. <coughs> does it do y'all that way? It does me, and I just oh, I can't stand it. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> he's got, it looks like he's got a lunch bag on his head. One of the brown lunch bags. So there's our little thing. Let me. Trying to get it where it's not flashing. No. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna, I don't think I need to tack it down in the front. Okay, so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna gather it up here to make the top of his hat. And then I'll just cut it off where I see fit. And I think I'm going to use like some of this to tie up his hat. <laughs> Thank y'all for blessing me. This burlap makes me sneeze every time. Sometimes jute will do it too, but because I have terrible allergies and it will make me sneeze. Okay, so I'm just going to gather it up. Nothing fancy, y'all. This is easy so far. I got to turn it around though so I can tie it and get the fabric to look like I want to. Let me lay him down. Kind of like making a little toboggan, basically. All right, so I'm just gonna use some of this. You could use raffia, whatever. You could use jute. Hope I don't tear it as I'm trying to tie it in a knot. Yeah, wear a mask when you're working with burlap. That's, that's definitely me, because it does make me sneeze. Okay, so you could put you some polyfill in there to make it puff up however you want to do it. I kind of like the slouchy look. And then I've got his little band here. Um, oh, good. You love getting the text messages. Awesome. I do too because it's another way to get in touch with y'all if, you know, something was to happen to Facebook. Cutting wood makes you sneeze. And that don't make me sneeze. The burlap does. So I'm basically just going to go rogue on here and just cut right across. No rhyme or reason. Nothing fancy. Look at there. Okay. And then I'm going to see all that stuff's flying around. But I like burlap. Yeah, you could use E6000 definitely if you use the glass. You sure could. It would it would hold it down, but you'd have to wait for it to dry, of course. But the plastic so far, the hot glue is holding it. Oh, yeah. Donna said, put some raffia coming out the top. Let's do that, Donna. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to use my hula skirt, though. I don't know. I, it's not as wild as the um, as the raffia to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. All right, let's cut it way up here. And I think I'll just, I'm going to double it over, I think. Like I said, I'm winging it, guys, because this is all up here. I'm trying to get it down here. 
<laughs> um, I've seen a few done on Pinterest or something. So I'm just gonna stick that down in there. Well, now it looks wild like hair, doesn't it? Okay, and I'm just, I'm gonna give him a little haircut. Y'all know I'm, I'm a barber in another life, evidently, because I like to, I like to give stuff haircuts. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna kind of scrunch it up. I make it look easy, Nicole. It, it is, I'm telling y'all, it's just in steps. If you'll break it down in steps, it doesn't seem so overwhelming. So always break it down in steps. Even when you paint something on canvas, break it down in basic shapes and build on your steps. That's all it is, I promise. It's, it's just basic steps. Because you see the whole product and you're like, I can't do that. Yes, it is, just break it down. Just don't get overwhelmed and break it down. All right, so see, so now we have our little hat and we have the raffia coming out. We're gonna all fix him up. What section of the Dollar Tree? I think they were in the, uh, the little label had like the cotton balls on it. So I think it was over there with the makeup maybe and that aisle kind of stuff. But um, I used a plastic container from the Dollar Tree. It was just like a little thing you put cotton balls or something in. That's all I used. But here's your other option, okay guys? You can use these from Hobby Lobby. They put them on sale um, and they're glass, but you can use these if you can't find these. Put some under his hat. Yes, okay. We'll do that. See, y'all gotta help me because like I said, I'm just trying to I'm trying to get it out of my head onto the thing. Okay, so let's put some. Y'all helping me. You're helping me. Table runners and decorations with burlap. Oh yeah, I bet you thought you were gonna die. Um and when Paige and Colin got married this past June, they didn't they didn't use uh, any burlap and I was like, yay! <laughs> it's we had to decorate and stuff, and I was like, oh. Even though it was rustic, they didn't, she didn't want to use burlap. Okay, so I think I'm going to uh, half this. I got about this much. See how wonderful these hula skirts are? So if you see the hula skirts, definitely grab them up because it makes like a good uh, raffia-like um, alternative. A small black crow for the hat. Yes, I need to make me, I need to have to cut me one with some felt. So I'm just gonna poke this up in here and see how it looks before I actually I may not even have to glue it down. So look, he's got some hair. And I'll have to put some in the front. <laughs> so I, I used to do those glass blocks and I've done pumpkin ones before um, with a cricket and like cut out the face and orange lights and all that stuff. Those are fun too. I don't know if y'all have ever seen that before. So let's let me give him another haircut. All right, as long as I don't cut my wire, I'm okay, right? But I was just stoked about the battery trick. I thought that was awesome. That was so neat. I was just impressed. I didn't even have to go in the house and get any more batteries. <laughs> okay. So yeah, if you wanna get on my texting, if you'll just text join to that number right there on your texting app on your phone, then um, you, you'll get on, it'll automatically put you on the list. And every time I go live or I restock the shop, it will, uh, I will text you and notify you. All right, so I'm gonna have to glue these little suckers down because this is not gonna be easy. Let's put it under the front. Pat, I'm gonna put some patches on his hat. We're gonna fix him up. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna, so this is what I got so far. I just put some on the sides and you could go all the way around the back if you wanted to, but I think I'm just gonna put some, a little bit underneath the front of his hat, but I'm gonna have to glue it down. Like, give him some, some hair, like a little, a bowl cut or something. <laughs> Let's put some over here on the side. Fix his hat where I want it. And I'm gonna stick some, y'all, my glue gun is just acting nuts. I guess I'm about to get another glue gun. The last one of this brand lasted me for 13 years. I don't know what the problem is with this. Oh, Sylvia, I'll show you the battery trick. So, you know when you need three AA batteries and you don't have three AA batteries? Well, that's what happened to me today. So I got this, got my pack out. I had two batteries out here with me in my studio and I needed a third one. Well, I always saw this trick. I've seen it before, I've saw it on TikTok. If you take aluminum foil and you make sure that you've put it to where it's touching both of those contacts, contacts in, contacts in there, 
it will work. And here's the proof. There's two batteries and there's aluminum foil. <laughs> that is awesome. I tried it and I was like, yay, it works. So cool. It's so neat. I was just amazed. So you really don't need three batteries. You only need two and some aluminum foil. Because I just didn't want to go in the house and get a third one. So I thought I would test the theory. Make sure it works. And it does. Yeah, I can slip the battery. You could actually put the battery pack in the box. Um, I may just get some Velcro dots and stick it to the back so I can turn it on and off. And some lights you get will have a timer and they'll stay on for like six hours or something like that. Yeah, I need to get one of those Ryobis. I just, I'm just very, y'all, I'm very practical. I just don't, I don't know. It's like, it's, I'm weird like that, but I, I need one. Hey, Colin, there's my, there's my son, my oldest. Okay, he's enjoying married life. All right. So there's my, I got a little hair on the front. You can't even really tell it because of the box, but there's that. And I got some hair on the sides like that. And that's just stuffed up in there. I need to glue it, but I'll do it in a minute. Okay. So now I got to work on his hat and we got to work on his face. Oh, you've, Terry, you've done the, the full thing before. That is so cool. This shirt is from Walmart. <laughs> I have a blue one. I had it on yesterday. Yeah, I'm a... I don't know how safe the aluminum foil trick is, but we'll see. Okay, so we're going to work on his hat. So yesterday, if you saw yesterday's live, Lindy made that pumpkin out of this fuzzy leopard material that I've had forever and ever. Um, so I think I'm going to make him all bougie, and I'm going to give him a leopard patch, and we're going to do a, a plaid one too. Cause I'm gonna make him, he's gonna be a fancy, a fancy scarecrow. So just whatever fabric you have, and I'm about to use some ribbon so you can use ribbon and cut a square out. Uh, let me cut it smaller. Oh, the, yeah, the small Ryobi, that's what I've been eyeing too. And um, we'll see. So I'm gonna put a little, there's my little, I'm gonna put a little patch, his little leopard patch up there. Isn't that gonna be cute? And Lindy's probably like, oh gosh, I gotta have a scarecrow now with the, with the um, leopard patch. Somebody said, I love the way you get excited. I do, it doesn't take much for me to get excited, y'all, I promise. I am not, uh, I'm just, I'm not a high maintenance girl at all. It doesn't take much. Oh yeah, Lindy's like, I love the fabric. Okay, so this is some ribbon I got from Michael's because it says celebrate it. I've had this since last year, maybe the year before. I love it, and it's got the orange, but it also has the little bit of black to tie that in. So even if you just have ribbon, just I'm just gonna like whack off a little piece, and then I'm just gonna cut, make him a little patch out of this ribbon, because I love this ribbon. So just like that, you can have a patch. Speaking of ribbon, did y'all see the post I did today about the um, Hobby Lobby, the curly, that curly gift wrap ribbons, that's real ribbon. And when they put them on sale, I buy them because I'll use them in my messy bows. I'll use them in all kinds of things. And yeah, you can use them for uh, packages, absolutely. But I just like the fact that it's real, actually real ribbon and you can use it in your crafting and stuff in your, in your bows. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey, Michelle. Okay. So this is, y'all, this is going to be so stinking cute. Just got to get his hat fixed. So it, I got just a little touch of orange. And I'm kind of wishing I put a little more orange. And I got some leopard. I think I'm going to put a little more orange on there. Let me cut out another square. <laughs> I was trying to get the black and white, but now I wish I'd have done the orange. Just a, just a titch. A titch is just a little bitty bit. <laughs> Y'all know I have my little words for stuff. My little other language that I speak. Okay, so there it is. Not perfect, but it's okay because he's supposed to look all um, kind of tattered and torn, right? Yeah, so yeah, be sure and look at the Hobby Lobby Christmas ribbon because a lot of the ribbon I have, some of it is the Christmas, like the Buffalo Check ribbon. They'll put it out at Christmas, and it's called gift wrap ribbon. 
and it's like, no, I don't use it for that, but I use it for other stuff. So don't pass up on that. You gotta shop the whole store at Hobby Lobby is what I say. Cause they have ribbon in the ribbon section. They have ribbon over in the fat, uh, scrapbook section. They have ribbon over in the floral section and in the gift wrap and all that. So you have to shop the whole store in my opinion. Cause they have stuff scattered out. Okay, I think I'm gonna fray this one a little bit. So you can like, this is like kind of like burlap. You can pull off the fibers and make it look a little bit frayed. It's just real loosely woven. So I got like the little fringes on it. A titch, that's right, Nancy. A titch is just a little bitty bit. That's what a titch is. And then when something's really small, I just say it's T90. That means it's real, it's real tiny. I don't know. It's T90. I just have my little sayings, I guess. <laughs> like a little something something. I just say all these little funny things. Okay, one patch. All right, so here's my double patch. I'm kind of work with his hat to get it to bow out where it needs to bow out. Okay, so there's his little patches, and I think I might put another one down here. Somebody said put one. Yes, Brenda, you gotta shop the whole store. Whole store. Because then you were like, oh, they got ribbon over here, too. Well, I didn't know that. Well, it goes on sale. When all the ribbon's on sale, all the ribbon in the whole store goes on sale, not just what's over there by the fabric. And if you're not a regular customer, then you probably don't even know that. Well, June, I do walk every aisle in Hobby Lobby all the time. <laughs> That's entertainment. Okay. All right. So there is, I got his, I got a patch here. And then I got a patch over there. Y'all, he's coming to life. Yeah, whoever Dana's talking to, I have a, the Crafters Reveal, um, the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal page. Be sure and put that, you know, put your stuff on there. Everybody wants to see. We hit 12,000 in the group. It's so awesome. And everybody's so stinking talented. Um, I love the orange check. Yes, that orange, this check, where is it? I thought I had it out here. I didn't, but that orange check yesterday is so cute. I don't even know where I got that. Diane says I speak her language. Well, I'm glad somebody gets it. It's just stuff that I say that I really don't think much about. It's kind of a Southern thing, I guess. All right, so now I gotta work on his face. And I, pract I did practice today making his eyeballs and stuff, but to see if I could do it. Color, wash color splash. Okay, so I've just got felt. Now, the other option you could do is you can use your paint pens you could use acrylic paint and you could paint his face on. So it's whatever works for you, okay? Um, either way, it's probably gonna be fine. I'm just gonna use felt. I don't know, I like to work with felt. Okay, so I'm going to, to make them this, try to make them the same size. I'm going to double up, I just rolled it up and doubled it up so I can cut them at the same time. Yeah, you recognize that from yesterday, Sharon, yes. I had to use it. I was like, I didn't get to make a pumpkin with it, but I'm going to make my scarecrow be all fancy and bougie, and he's got some leopard going on. Got to make him a little different. Oh, somebody said I'm almost at a thousand. Oh, well, I am. <laughs> I would be, I would be crafting just like this if it was nine people on. It's fine. <laughs> I promise. But it does humble me that, that many of you are hanging out with me. It humbles me. As the numbers go up, I just get humble. Like, I just, it, it just amazes me. Um, I'm going to get all up in the feelings in a minute. <laughs> Better stop. Was it kick with me and Lindy? Yes, it was. We had fun. We could have just crafted on through the night. We just could have sat right there and until that ghost kind of got funny. Uh, yeah, it was hilarious. We laughed about that afterwards and we made the, we made her husband, we told her about him about it. And we were like, you got to watch it. You got to watch it. Okay. So I tried to make two by folding it over. And hopefully they are somewhat similar. But, you know, it's not totally like a circle. Look at it. It's rough, okay? Because I can't cut a complete smooth circle. Um, <laughs> Y'all laughing at the, the ghost comment. Yeah. If you didn't see it, 
go back and watch from yesterday. It's on mine and Lindy's page. Lindy is, uh, her page is called Tater, Tater Buggin. And uh, yeah, we had a, a funny time. <laughs> okay, so there's, this is gonna be his eyes, but I'm not done. So his eyes are gonna be like this, but I'm gonna put some, um, some little whites in his eyes. So we gotta cut out some white circles. See how easy this is? And if you were painting it, it probably would go faster, but I just wanna do felt. He enjoyed it from yesterday. I'm from Georgia and you speak like me. Good, Teresa, see? Oh, okay, so I just doubled over my white and I'm gonna try to cut some little white ovals. You and Lindy should do it again. We are, we're gonna, we're planning on doing it. Somebody said, y'all need to do it once a month. And we're like, oh, okay, we might try to do that. Cause you know, we gotta, this is like crafting season for crafters, right? Cause fall on into Christmas, it's like a crafter's paradise. It's, there's so much stuff you can make and do and all the stores have all the cute decor out. And then I like to try to recreate their stuff, not spinning an arm and a leg. So I see something at Kirkland's I like. It's like, oh, let's make that. Let's see if we can make it. Oh, Dana, you had a migraine. I hope you feel better. So you had to go back and watch it. So I'm trying to, that's gonna be way too big. <laughs> I gotta cut them down. Oh, buttons, somebody said buttons. Dang, I have uh, so many buttons, it's not even funny. Um, I should, why didn't I think of that? Buttons, that'd be cool. Well, I'm already cutting felt, so we're gonna go with it. But yes, you could definitely use the, um, use buttons for his eyes. That would be really cute. Kind of go, um, go along with the kind of the ragged theme of a scarecrow. Cause you know, you just kind of make him out of what you have kind of deal. Okay. Hey, look, hey, Marsha. Okay. So I got his little circles and they're not circles. <laughs> they're like real rough ovals. So they're not perfect. See, they're not at all, you know, I'm not one of those people that can just go with the scissors and you got this beautiful circle cut out and it's no jagged edges. No, that's not me. <laughs> okay. What's the base? It is a, it is a plastic box from Dollar Tree, but if you don't, can't find it. They're little organizer boxes. If you can't find it, you can use the glass blocks from Hobby Lobby. Um, so this is really, really not hard. You're just basically putting your little steps together. Okay. So I'm not going to glue them down just yet until I figure out, see how it's flat off my, my oval is. So I'm trying to fix it and I'll sit here and cut it until it gets down to nothing and have to start over. Y'all do that too? Nebraska. You're in Nebraska and you love to hear me talk. And I don't think anything about it because everybody here talks like I do. Most everybody. All right. So I think <clears throat> I was going to make him a nose. I'm going to make him a big nose and we're going to do it out of orange. Oh, wait. I got a little piece over here. See, I save all my scraps, I don't throw it away. Cause you never know what you're gonna need just this little piece of felt for instead of cutting up a whole piece. So I'm gonna make a big skinny nose or try. So I'm gonna make it make it long if I can get it on here. So we want him to have kind of a funny face. I'll make it a little skinnier. So I know that y'all can do this. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna glue it down and then I'm gonna show it to y'all. The glass, this is a glass box from Dollar Tree. It's just plastic. It's acrylic. But if you can't, you find that at Dollar Tree, then you can always use the glass blocks from Hobby Lobby. And I think Joann's and Michael sell them too. I'm, I haven't ever looked. So I'm not for sure. Okay. I'm gonna lose my eyeballs. Okay, I'm going to tuck them up under the hat uh, just a little bit. And you don't need much because they're going to stay. 
And then I'm just going to glue his eyes down. And then I'm going to glue his center of his eyes down. And you could do it white with a black dot in the middle, however you want to do it. I'm just, just kind of did it this way. There's his nose. Y'all, this is going to be so easy and quick. All right, now I'll show y'all what he looks like thus far. There's his little face. I hadn't done his mouth. Um, now I look at it and I think maybe he does need a little black dot in the middle of the white. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if I can cut a little bitty circle out of my felt. We'll see. This is so darn cute. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's going to be cute. You can turn on the little lights. You could set him over by your little tear tray or your entry table. And like I said, some of the lights that you buy, like Tuesday mornings has the lights. I think everywhere sells these little fairy lights now, but um, you could definitely get the ones that's got a timer and then you wouldn't have to worry about it turning it on and off all the time. It'll just come on and go off. Hey, Amy from Kentucky. Oh, Sharon likes my shirt. It's from Walmart. I got it in the summer. I think y'all can tell me. I'm going to show you what he looks like with the little black dots in his eyes. I don't know. He kind of looks a little deranged, but y'all tell me. Black dots or no black dots? So there he is with the dots. No dots. <laughs> hey, Nilma, I'm making a scarecrow out of a block. So I'm gonna draw on his mouth with my paint marker that I really don't like to use because they don't agree with me a lot. A hole punch. Will that cut the fail, a hole punch? Okay, so I'm just gonna make a, I'm gonna him have a big mouth. So I'm just gonna kinda go, like I said, y'all, I'm just kinda, we're just winging it. Gonna move his hair. And this is gonna take a little bit to dry. Okay, there's his mouth, but we're gonna we're not done. We're gonna add some stuff to him. Isn't he cute? Alright, so I'm gonna do everybody said black dots. So black dots, smaller black dots. So I'm just gonna make his little mouth all cutesy. We're gonna do some little make him some stitches on his mouth. But you can look up scarecrow faces like on Pinterest or just on Google Images and find you a face that you kind of like and go with that. Look how stinking adorable that is. Dots smaller. Okay, maybe that's why he looks like he's crazed in the eyes. I used to work with a lady and she'd say, he just don't look out of his eyes the right way. <laughs> and that has stuck with me since then. She used to always say that. He don't look out of his eyes the right way. All right, that looks better. He don't look as, he don't look eye crazy. Okay. All right, so y'all tell me, well, if one of them's bigger than the other, use the paint pen for the black dots in the eyes. Yeah, I could do that too. This felt kind of gives me a little leeway of where I'm gonna put them. That look better? Now they're not glued down. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Dot with a marker. Cute. Maybe I'll, I'm going to try to put some little stitches on his nose. With my marker. You know how it's like sewn on his face? It's not working real great with my, that felt, but y'all get the idea. I put some little stitches on his nose. <laughs> so you could just do whatever you want to do. This marker doesn't like the felt though. That's the only thing about his eyes. Okay, so now I gotta glue the black dots in his eyes. Yay, 1K. All right, so I'm gonna glue his black dots on his eyes down. All the glue strings. Yeah, that marker doesn't, see how it fuzzy, it made, the marker made the felt? So he really doesn't like it much. 
Damn, that is look cute. And you, like I said, you can Google like your images of scarecrow faces or Pinterest and find different eye shapes and nose shapes and all that stuff and kind of get an idea of what you want to want to um, what you want to do. And then you can just kind of go from there and make your own face. You know, just to get you a, get your mind kind of turning up face ideas. The wonky eyes make it cute. And you could do a girl one. You could totally do a girl one. And I wish I could turn my lights off so y'all could see it. But there are lights on the inside. In my little battery pack with my aluminum foil for the third battery. <laughs> so now, I think I want to add... I don't know if I should add something at the bottom. But I might cover up his face. I don't know. Let's see. He needs... I know what he needs. He needs... Like, I have this little bow from something else that came off of something else. And we could put up on his hat. But y'all see how simple this was? We just went from a block and we put a hat, some fabric around it that I didn't even cut. We just kind of eyeballed it. And threw it on there and glued it together. And it's uh, step by step. So don't look at the whole picture, look at step by step. That's what, when I used to help teach art, that's what we would tell the kids. Like, don't, you know, don't look at the whole picture. Look at one piece at a time. Do one piece at a time and you build on the last piece. Yeah, they're usually wonky. That's right, Tina. The scarecrows aren't, aren't perfect either. So I pulled that bow off of something from somewhere that I saved in my stash and I just, it had a zip tie, a little wire tie on there anyway. So I just kind of attached it to his little hat. Look how stinking cute. But if you didn't want to do the, the clear box with the lights in it, you could totally just do this to a block of wood. Um, you know, one of those crates from Dollar Tree. You could do the same thing. Just put a hat on it, draw you a face. Same thing. You could do this to anything. So let's see. I think... He might need, he might need a little couple of flowers coming out of his hat, maybe. Let's see. Get him over here and stick a couple of little, these are just Dollar Tree. Y'all can see I've pulled off of them. Uh, Dollar Tree little flowers. I think I used those flowers in this. Y'all remember these? The little bead vases? I think that's these flowers. And I'm just going to put a couple in his hat. And get it to see look how look you can just keep adding little bitty details and look how stinking cute it makes it just little details we could do a, i mean if you had some small sunflowers you could put a sunflower on his hat you could put you know sunflower over here i don't know if i have any small ones but you could do that i don't have any little ones i think i've used them all I've got this size. That's a little smaller, but y'all see what I'm saying. You could definitely glue one up at the top and make him all sunflowery. How cute would that be? Cute. Cause you know we we bougied him up with the with the leopard, so you can do whatever you want to. But I think he's adorable. He, look at look at that hair. He's got a, <laughs> he's got a rogue hair. But how stinking cute is he? I love him. And I can make my lights change. See, there he is without lights. And there he is with the lights doing all kinds of crazy stuff. You love the flower on his hat? I do, too. I was thinking I had some little sunflowers, but I don't. Or black-eyed Susans or whatever. Um, but I don't. I got all my flowers stuck over here in a... Over here next to me. And you can add more flowers. Let's see if he looks better with more. More may not be good in this essence. So let's take the two out, put the three, and one falls off. And I might just, let's see. Might just glue one. I'm gonna take that little flower and I'm gonna cut the back off. 
and see if I can glue it somewhere else on his hat. Let's see, where does this go? Oh, my lights are doing all kinds of weird stuff. I think I'm gonna glue it up here on this these little berries and kind of tie it all together. Okay. All right, so I took, there's three in there and then I just took the top of one and put it right here, <laughs> right there. And that just kind of ties it all together. Oh, my lights are doing weird stuff. Let's see if I can change it. No. I think that's it, maybe. Nope. There it is. Okay. They're, they do all kinds of craziness. But look how cute. What is that? I don't know what that picture of that little thing is. <laughs> so isn't it cute? So look how easy. So like if you go to Hobby Lobby, you can definitely do this. Or you could do this if you could get it from Dollar Tree. It was just a little clear like box that you put cotton balls in. And the front comes, the top comes off. But you could to so do this and look for the lights at Dollar Tree, okay? Um, they'll put them out, usually this time of the year, they'll put orange ones out and they have the purple and stuff. And then they also do, the, do them at Christmas. But these are just some I had from somewhere else. I didn't have any Dollar Tree ones. I've used them. Hey, Ann, welcome. It looks like she's new. Um, so look how stinking adorable. But you could just keep on and going, guys, and just add... You know, pull out of your stash, find stuff that you have, and make it your own. Make it cute. You could braid the raffia and make a girl, like ponytails coming down. How stinking cute. But this is so simple. But you could do this to a block of wood. You don't have to have the lights or the box. Just do, you know, do it to a container that you have, and it will be so much, so cute. You can just go on forever and get your ribbon or your fabric stash and pull out some fabrics that go together that you like and just... Have fun and do it. And then if you, you know, if you don't want to use the felt, you could definitely use paint, paint on the front. Use what you have. Don't You don't have to necessarily go out and get all the supplies for every, every craft that you see us all do. And I know that gets overwhelming because I was once in that position too. And you think, I got to have all the stuff to make all this stuff that I want to do. And, you know, just think outside the box and, you know, find a... a, a container you have that's its shape you know paint it do whatever you know even those little rubber made containers that they have at Dollar Tree that are the, the storage containers for food and stuff use that use the back side of that for this it would be perfectly fine it's a little bit frosted it would be fine put his face on him you know have the, the lid in the back and it would be great same thing Winter projects are fun. Glad I found you now. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, yeah, this was just a piece of leftover runner that I had or something, and I just folded it out, folded up the brim, and then glued it on there. Don't, I don't think they do. I only saw this one size. So I think they only had this the one size, and I only have two boxes left. But my first thought was to put three and do a snowman. But I pulled this out and I was like, I'm going to do a um, scarecrow. But yeah, you could do a girl and put the braids coming down. There's so many different options that you could do to this. And you can use real raffia. I just used the hula skirt because I wanted to use the hula skirt. Where did you get the orange buffalo check fabrics using the candy corn? I think that it came from, to be truthfully honest, I think it came from Walmart last year. But, um... I know that, I know Joann's has got to have it. They've got to. But I don't, I haven't seen it at Walmart this year. But this is what I made yesterday. And the template for this, guys, and the ghost template are in the group. I posted them in the group because it won't let me put it on my business page. So I had to do it in the group. A level three craft hoarder. Yes, Rhonda. You haven't seen my room yet. So you'll, yeah. Um, but yeah, y'all give these a try. And like I said, you could put your little trunk under here. We can make Christmas trees with this template. You could do a pennant banner with this template. So there's so much you can use just for that template that Lindy drew for us. And, um, and uh, she put it in a PDF file. And so it's in the group. And I'm going to try to pin it to the top so maybe it'll stay there. 
Yeah, you can make him in, this would be a gnome. He sure could. You can make the hat and then put the beard down here. <laughs> Ann was laughing so hard yesterday. Oh, we laughed. Uh, and one lady on her live said she wet her pants. <laughs> that was so funny. Good night, Tina. I'm going to use a big jar. See, BJ, yes. If you have like a pickle jar, a big pickle jar or whatever, do the same thing. It doesn't have to be square. So think outside the box and use a big pickle jar. That's a good idea. Or just a, you know, even if it's just a smaller jar, you can do the same, same principle here and put the lights in it, do his little face and do his hat on the top. So yes, it would be fine. And these little lights don't get hot. So uh, you don't have to worry about the stuff getting hot. He's quite handsome, Charlene. <laughs> oh, and he's so cute. So I had to put him back here on my shelf. You're gonna do crafts all day, Dawn. Oh, lucky you. What's the group name again? Lisa, it is the Turquoise Valentines, which is this page. Crafters Reveal. So y'all can reveal all of your crafts. We just rolled over to 12,000, whoop, whoop. And everybody in there is stinking talented. And it's a good, good community of good people. Hey, Wendy. We're so funny from yesterday. Yes. Yeah, this was a hula skirt. I used the, the hula skirt from the Dollar Tree for my raffia. But you could use real raffia if you wanted to. Or even the shred that they have at Dollar Tree. You could use the shred. I know they have the brown shred. You could use that too. So just let your mind think, okay, what can I use instead of this? So that's why, you know, I try um, on most of my crafts is to give you another option. Like, if, if you can't get this, well, we're going to go and try to use something else. And like BJ said, I'm going to use a pickle jar. Ding, ding, ding. It doesn't have to be square. Make it round and do the same thing. What did I use? This is a clear acrylic box from Dollar Tree. It was like a little cotton ball box felt for his face. I drew on his mouth with my paint pen. This was just some scrap burlap I had. And the raffia stuff is a hula skirt from Dollar Tree from the summertime. And then I just added some little embellishments and his little fabric patches and stuff. And that's it. And that's how he goes. Hey, Wendy from Claremore, Oklahoma. I bet it's hot out there too. It's hot here. Yeah, so many options. So don't let it stop you that, oh, well, I don't have that box from the Dollar Tree. I know y'all got pickles in your fridge. I know you do. Or you got mayonnaise or you got something in a jar. Empty that jar out and wash it out and make you a, make you a scarecrow with it. <laughs> Teresa had fun too with Lindy. Yes, the hula skirt, that's just easier to deal with than this. This right here gives me anxiety. I have raffia rage. It just, <laughs> but this is so much easier to deal with because it's all nice and neat and comes straight down off of the thing and I can just clip off what I want. <laughs> so much easier to manage. And they have green ones too, uh, but I only got the natural color. Going to make him tomorrow. Making the pumpkin today. Jenny is on a roll. She's going to be all set for, um, for fall. Ton of hula skirts. I only got one because when I went, they had one hanging there and I was like, oh, that was meant for me. Yeah, Sherry, you could use a flower pot. Just let your mind just kind of go of what other things you could use. But if you wanted the lights and you could use a jar and I don't know, you've got a jar of something in your refrigerator. I need a crow. Yeah, I need a little crow. I don't know if I can cut a crow, y'all. I need a little, a little black crow up there. Oh, Vicki got to watch the replay. She's in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Everybody in Oklahoma's watching it. She's holding on. Oh, Nancy, yes, we're still praying for you and your mom. Bless her heart. God will take her when she's ready. When he's ready to take her. And just pray for, you know, just pray for her to have peace when she goes. So, she's hanging on for something. Oh, Dana, you're sweet. I bought two of those skirts just for that reason. Yes. I did too, but I only found one in the store. And I was like, dang it. 
everybody else buys them for that reason too. So <laughs> when I got there, it was one. So, but I was happy to get the one because it'll go, I mean, that's a lot of raffia and one skirt. I mean, that'll last me a while. Oh, everybody's praying for her mom. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off and go see what my family is doing and eat me a nibble of something because I hadn't eaten yet. And um, I will see y'all Thursday. And I'm going to be releasing some new stuff, hopefully, by the end of the week. And, um, hey, Beverly, she's from Alabama. Well, I'm from Mississippi, so we are neighbors um, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Everybody's in Oklahoma. All right, guys, well, I'm going to hop off. And thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope you give this little dude a try because he is so cute. Um, and do him your way. Just do him your way. It doesn't have to be just like this. You can do him with whatever materials you have and make it your own. Um, so don't get discouraged because you can't find the box. Do it how you want to do it and what, what you have. Don't feel like you got to run out and buy everything to, to make it because you can make him a variant of him. It'll be fine. And it won't be like anybody else's. The hula skirt, cousin it. Yes, I, Maria, I have people. See, people make the cousin it out of the hula skirts. It's hilarious. Oh. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off. I'll see y'all Thursday. Y'all have a great week and be safe. And see you then. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.